Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I have further progress on my sewing room. So let's go in and see what the current progress is. Um, so what I did over here is I removed the press that I had and put this embroidery sewing machine. It was too heavy for uh, this particular new table that I received. So that will give it more stability. Uh, I put my cutting mats over here because the goal is to use this as a cutting table as well as sewing table. So when I'm cutting something out, I can remove the machines um, and put them on the floor and then use this as a cutting table. So it really maximizes my space. Um, I'm planning to take these hoops, which will go to this brother machine paste setter and I'm planning to hang them on the wall but I'm getting uh, some command hook adhesives to replace the ones that um, I had up in Tennessee to reuse the hooks and I'm planning to put them on this wall so they'll be easily accessible to uh, this machine over here. I decided to put my serger on this end because uh, with the arrangement of this dresser and this little table, which one day I'll plan to refinish, um, it was going to be very, very frustrating to me to move this chair around the table towards the window, but it's easier to move it from this location around to the serger and then over here to the sewing area. So I think I'm going to like that a lot better than what I had initially planned to do. So over here, I have this cedar chest. Uh, this serger thread will go on the wall. I'm not sure if I'll put it this location or if I'll put it up above this Guterman or not. Uh, but let me show you what I did inside the cedar chest. I had several totes of fabric and I was able to put two totes of fabric inside the cedar chest. Now these are like those poster boards, um, cutting or fabric bolts is what I'm trying to say. It's a mini bolt that I've made. Some out of cardboard from boxes that I've received and others um, you can buy the pre-made and I'll link that in the description below. Now this fabric over here is what I rated my mother's stash for me to try. Um, some of this is really old, so I'm planning to use it kind of as a, you know, a test garment to make sure that the fit and everything works well. Um, but I really like that I was able to put two huge plastic totes, 45 quart totes of fabric in here, and I do it by color. So I still have a few out in the garage, but I'm really pleased with this way of organizing it. I kept this tote over here, um, and eventually I will go through that, but not today. <laughs> and let me show you this closet here. It's a bifold door, and I still kept my scrapbooking things up here and rubber stamping, as well as I've already organized different scrapbooks in those bins way in the corner over there that I'll get to. I still have my threads located here. And then I put my patterns, the box that I had it in, they broke during the move. So I had this already. It was um, for something else since I really didn't use the contents of it. So I threw those out and relabeled them and put my patterns in here. So very happy with that. These are empty things that I'm keeping um, that I may need for something else. And these are articles that I've written for different magazines and I'm thinking of a way to display those in this room as well. I have my scrapbooking organizer here. I have this lands end tote that uh, my brother gave me. And in here, I have my projects that I need to work on. Those are my next projects. So I thought about using that as kind of an organizational tool as well. And the stabilizer. Still need to go through this to get through or just discard 
old bills and taxes that are you know past the time we have to keep them here in the US. Then I still have all of my organizational things here for sewing. Now over here, I've started a little grouping of things that I want to hang on the wall. So I have my quilt rack that a childhood's friend's father made for me. And on that shelf, I plan to put some of these things, which are some things that my grandmother had in her room um, when she passed away. So this was her button box that she had. These are some of her measuring tapes. This wasn't in there. Um, this was a basket that she had, her pin cushion, some of the last threads that she used. So it's sentimental to me. And I think I'll just display that on top of the quilt rack. Um, I even have some of her old books to her old sewing machines, um, which I think is great. And then these are some needles that she had. So I wanna keep that for sentimental value. Um, I have an old 1927 Needlecraft magazine that I wanna display like on this little clothespin that has a hanger on the back of it. Um, and then some of the things that I've made as a child, um, some of my first quilting blocks, et cetera. So those are things I wanna put on the wall once those things uh, from the command hook has come in. This is gonna be my idea board that I'll put up. I think I'm gonna put it above this bookcase is what the current plan is, but I could change my mind. So if you have ideas of where to put some of these things on the wall, I would love some feedback on that. You can comment below. There's a big space right here next to my embroidery machines. Um, in all my other houses, I had put that quilt rack above a window, but this is a double window. Usually I only have just the one window there. So I think it will not look as good as it has in other houses, but let me know what you think. And then I have this huge wall over here by the thread. I didn't show you this over here. I put all my quilting rulers here. Um, they don't have holes on them, so I'm not able to hang them on the wall like the hoops are. So I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. And I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. My husband came in here and he was very impressed and said, now I'll never see you again. <laughs> Just you'll be back here in your little happy spot. So I'm looking forward to getting things on the walls and then begin some projects. I have not sewn in over a year and it has really uh, been difficult. I've missed it and I really wanna get back to the creative aspect of my life and sewing and scrapbooking. So this is what it looks like making progress. Thank you so much for your comments. And until next time, happy sewing and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.